I'm very tall and I still like to have conversations with people. It's a thing, okay? It's a thing. Prepare yourself. Hey everyone! Okay, so today I have kind of a huge haul from Nordstrom. They were having their half yearly sale, as you can see. And I went crazy. I went with my mom because my mom was helping me pick out an outfit for a special occasion. And she loves to shop mm, maybe even more than I do. She is, I, I learned everything I know from her. She's got crazy amazing styles. She can think out of the box. She's always about mixing it up and trying something like a little bit crazier or a little bit more interesting. And I love that. I feel like she inspired like 97 to 99 percent of my style she's amazing we went shopping and i got a lot of stuff but there was also a massive sale going on and so i attacked the shoe section and i also attacked the like top shop section it's new to me i hadn't been able to get over to nordstrom and check out the top shop section before which was killing me but my mom was like it's amazing we have to look so we looked and i got a lot of stuff but i'm gonna go into the shoes first so here we go first i got these these are corso como i don't know i've never had these brand of shoes i was mostly just looking at the sale stuff but i desperately needed some like cold weather shoes I'm hard on my shoes like if I like a pair of shoes I'm gonna wear them every day and they're gonna be like in shreds by the end of the season so I pretty much have to like replace shoes very frequently I got these these were on sale they are comfy and they are cute which is a strange combination not usually found in shoes but they're leopard they've got like some minor studs on there and it's weird because they're like naked foot in the middle like okay these might not be 1000 percent appropriate for cold weather but they're closed toe which is good enough hey this is texas it's okay but yeah i love these love 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 my mom also is obsessed with leopard shoes and she always has a pair in rotation she's like they go with everything you have to have them so leopard shoes it is Actually, one of the main reasons that we went was because I had to return a pair of shoes that I ordered online and they didn't fit. So I returned those and then we got these and I'm very happy. Next up, we have a pair by Dolce Vita. I think I've had a pair from these. I don't know. I think I've actually, I think I've just tried on a few pairs from Dolce Vita but never actually gone to them. These are definitely out of the box, but they're cool and they remind me of the ones that I took back but different in a way so I am not a big fan of like booties or whatever like ankle boots and stuff like that like I don't know why I just can't get into it I'm fine with them on other people on me I feel like they're weird and these are almost approaching the same idea but I like them they're definitely pretty masculine but they have the kind of like detail on the toe I don't know I can just see these being so 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 cute with like tights and a skater skirt which is kind of my favorite thing to wear all the time or like with my leather skirt or a dress or even just like skinny jeans I don't know I'm about these and these are actual like they would keep my feet warm I don't know I'm into them and they're giant I know I have big feet I wear a size 10 I'm a very tall girl and these are just the facts of my life unfortunately these were not on sale but it was worth it Next, we have a pair of Vince Camuto heels. You know, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you've seen the pairs of pumps I have by Vince Camuto. I really, really love them. They fit really nicely. It's like, you don't have to break them in. They're just amazing right away. And I've gotten some like not super high heels by them and they've worked out really, really well for me. And so I saw these on the sale rack and I was all over it because they're a little bit more like going out cocktail party slash I could totally wear these during the day at work as well because they're kind of like a gunmetal steel color not a super high heel like I said I'm very tall and I still like to have conversations with people and not have to like you know bend down or give them a step stool or something so this is perfect I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of these shoes um, I'm thinking about using them for my special event coming up sling back Never had some of those. I feel like these are kind of grown up lady shoes, but they're very like cool on because they're silver. I don't know. I'm definitely into them. They were on the sale rack, so I could not say no. Gorgeous. Don't we look good together? Hello? Okay, this is the last pair of shoes. I know you're probably already thinking I totally lost it, but they I could not say no to these shoes, okay? So <laughs> these are Circus by Sam El uh, Edelman. 
Adelman? I don't know how to say that word, but circus, I like this box. And they're just ballet flats, but I haven't had a pair of ballet flats that I truly, truly love. And the ones that I truly, truly love last are super, super beat up. And so I just, uh, I needed new ones. And these are maroon, so they're obviously more interesting than black. And they have these cool, like, spike details on the ends of the bows. And you know how I feel about bows. And I don't know, these are just, like, all around cute. And I like how, like, the toe part isn't too long, since I do have big feet. So if this part is longer on the larger size shoe it just makes your foot look huge and makes the shoes look like boats and I mean I know they already look like boats but I think it's a lot cuter and a lot more like feminine for this part to be shorter if you've got big feet you know what I'm talking about if you don't you're probably like eh, why do you care about this but it's a thing okay it's a thing and I already wore these last night and there's a hair on them already I wore these last night I went to a party and it was like casual chic uh, what is that even but these worked they're perfect they're just perfect little classy princess ballet flats like Audrey Hepburn would wear could you say no to those I don't think so all right and now we have the clothes it prepare yourself here I have other ones laid out over here but this one stayed in the plastic I don't know what you guys are gonna think I'm really excited about it though. I, I think this is going to be a polarizing piece, I'm not going to lie. Okay, it's a pink vinyl skirt. I know you can't totally see it, but hopefully I will have helpful pictures. This one is a top shop piece. It has a little exposed zipper in the back. It is some shiny, shiny pink Pepto vinyl and it's a pencil skirt. So it's like, it's a confusing piece. Oh, you are wearing a vinyl piece of clothing. Oh, it's a pencil skirt. I don't know. I just... Um, honestly, if you want to know the truth, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, whoa, that's weird, that's interesting. And they had it next to this, like, really cute, like, cropped, short sleeve, like, thick sweater that was pink also. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So I tried them on both together, and my mom was like, that's so cool. But we decided against the sweater, because it was, like, not right. Next to the skirt, it looked, like, a little dingy or something. It was weird. But I tried on like a billion things with it and it was so hard to figure out what went with it. But my mom totally won me over and she was like, you gotta do it. You just gotta go there. It's out there, but do it. And I'm doing it. Whatever. My camera battery is dying, so I kind of have to run through these things quickly. Forgive me. But it's not that much else, so it's okay. I ended up getting this pink, also top shop sweater. It's like very fluffy and lammy and there's a lot of volume to it. I think I'm going to put like a long necklace with it. I don't know which one yet, but this with that skirt, it's like sleek and shiny and pencil skirty on the bottom and then fluffy and like pillowy and cheap like on the top, which is strange, but I think it's cool. I feel like it's kind of a, I don't know, mind bender. I don't know how to describe it, but I think it's a good thing. You might not agree. It's okay for us to not agree on everything. Next up, I got this top, and it's a crop top, and it's kind of, I don't know how to describe this material, but there's a see-through panel up here, and it's all beaded. I wore this one last night as well with my leather skirt. It was so cute because it was, like, only, like, this much at the bottom of skin showing. <sighs> it was amazing. So cute. I guess you had to be there. But, yeah. Exposed zipper in the back, and this one is ASTR. I don't know. I've never heard of this brand, but I like it. And also, I got this black hairy sweater. I don't know, this, there were so many things that were like, this is 90s, where was this stuff whenever I was looking around to figure out my Cher Horowitz costume idea because I could never figure it out because I couldn't find the right clothes. Ugh. And if that had existed, I totally could have done it. Like, it's, it's that. So, if you're in the Houston area or around a top shop or whatever, get out in it. I love this furry sweater. I've been needing a black sweater. This is a need and a want, which is always nice. And last, I got this button-down white shirt. I don't know. I mean, it just fits, and it's nice, and it's just exciting to have a white button-down shirt that actually fits because somehow that's really hard for me to find. It's by Halogen, and I don't know. It's good. It's plain. It will work with a lot of things. Like the black sweater. My mom is also convinced that I need to get black framed glasses to go with these outfits, so. We'll see. I do trust her styling tips, so. 
I might go there. Prepare yourself. All right, so that's it. If you have any comments or questions or whatever, comment down below. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, or Tumblr, whatever. The links will be down below. It's Leanne Says Everywhere. I love hearing from you guys. I also love when you subscribe. Subscribe to my channel to see all my future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Hello.